Hi everybody. Friday night. I uh, got back from Berlin a few days ago. Yeah, caught a call, cold. We all know what that means, right? I have a man cold. Hopefully not my my uh, the end of my days are here. I hope not. But it could be. <laughs> yeah, I I have a cold. Um <clears throat> But it's Friday night and uh, we're doing our little happy talks um, where I get to check in with you and say hi and s kind of see how you're doing and, and, and uh, maybe share a moment um, with you in silence, in quietude, in, in, uh, in a calm kind of togetherness sort of thing. So I'm super happy that we get to do this, that I get to do this, and that um, that I get to share it. There's a page called Wild Idealist, the Wild Idealist, and uh, me and uh, Danny Greer started it, and it's a nice little page for anybody who uh, feels feels like they can identify with a wild idealist, um, and we all need encouragement. We all need love, we all need support, we all need somebody in our corner. And sometimes we can get that from the inside. If I, uh, when, whenever I sit down <clears throat> in silence and uh, find that core, that center, I end up getting into that place of complete stillness. And for me, that's where I find encouragement, peace, love, tolerance, patience, compassion. All these wonderful traits that humankind, you know, I mean, most animals seem to seem to have those traits. Um, and we, we uh, naturally have them. If you watch kids, they naturally help each other. They naturally love each other. They naturally aren't afraid of each other. And I believe we need to bring that back. Uh, sort of bring out the, 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 the childlike, you know, faith or in, intuitive just togetherness. That's what I think we need to bring out. So I want to pass that on to you. For the weekend, because this is your Friday night happy talk, and I think we all need compassion, love, tolerance, patience, and uh, understanding. So, if we come from a place of peace from the inside, it's easier to do that. So, I wish that for you. I wish that deeply. Last week, I was in Berlin, and I was caught up in the moment of, of uh, the grief of seeing the wall. The wall that they built down in Berlin uh, after the Second World War to separate the East of Berlin from the West Berlin. Now, there's only a few walls that have been built that of that magnitude that I know of. Uh, the Chinese, the Great Wall of China, is of course the first and the biggest one. But then we have the Berlin Wall, which so many people died to to try and get across when they were trying to escape from the East to the West. Uh, and then, and for many years, they were trying to tear that wall down in different matters, manners. And and then uh, finally, Gorbachev, down in, back in 1989, in the fall of 1989, managed to to uh, negotiate a deal, uh, both with the West and the East, and and they could close the wall down. Checkpoint Charlie opened up. And then there's a wall down in Jerusalem, which is also meant to be keeping people out. And now there's somebody talking about building a wall in the southern border of America, which is also meant to be keeping people out. And I just feel like it goes against every single grain of, well, I'm not trying to pass judgment, but I, I am trying to say that it doesn't really go along with the lines of understanding, compassion, tolerance, and, and love. So anyway, I hope we're doing great. Have a wonderful weekend. Uh, this tattoo right here, some of you will recognize it. Other people will wonder what it is. It's a question mark. Where is the love? So I ask you, where is the love?